Hey guys, uh, this is a 2014 uh, BMW 428i and I'm in the process of replacing the uh, thermostat of the car. Um, the car threw a engine check light. Um, basically, uh, to, to fix that, uh, the code that it read, to fix that, I'm actually uh, replacing the thermostat. Um, so to in order to start doing this uh, what you would want to do first is you would want to uh, put the car on the ramps or either jack it up because uh, um, the coolant is going to leak out and you're going to have to you know basically replace the coolant uh, and then these cars they have a um, underneath the car they actually have a uh, little uh, protector here that you're gonna have to go ahead and take off. This thing has got uh, a lot of bolts, uh, as you can see in the corner here. So I think probably like roughly maybe, um, you know, 12 to 15 bolts or something, if not more. So you're gonna have to take that out. So what I did is I jacked the car up, went underneath it, went underneath the car, and I uh, took that off, uh, basically. And then you want to put probably put some sort of a pan or something down there to catch all the coolant that's gonna leak out uh, I happen to be lucky to have this uh, concrete uh, mixture sort of pan that I put in there to catch all the coolant so now so once you're done doing that uh, what you would want to do is you want to first take off the the air intake box which is right there uh, which is pretty simple there are uh, three tabs here one two second one here and then the third one down there. So you would basically want to lose, just pull on it, just pull on this uh, on the box, and it will come loose. And then you're gonna have to uh, undo this uh, connector here, which is connected to the air filter. Um, so once you're you're done doing that, uh, then you would want to go ahead and take out that small part right there, which is basically um, just a little, um, you know. The screw here you loosen that wiggle it out and once you're done doing that then you would want to basically take out this part right here which is connects to uh, this right here just a pull tab pull this down um, once you're done doing that then there are basically two um, so this is the thermostat if I don't know if you guys could tell or not but this is this is the thermo this is the part that needs to be replaced and I already ordered a new part which is um, you know the, the genuine original uh, made in Germany part right here that needs to be replaced which is a new part so um, what it is I basically had to untighten this um, clamp right here which is down here you can see and then um, undo this clamp here and then pull these hoses out so now once you pull them out make sure you have the bucket ready because the coolant is going to leak everywhere so it's going to be all over the place uh, be ready to catch that once you're done doing that you want to go ahead and pull out the actual radiator hose which is this right here so there's a little clip that comes uh, on it you just want to pull the clip off clip off and then you want to wiggle this hose it's going to be a little tight even without the clip it's going to be dead on there so you have to give it a lot of strength here to pull this off but once you do that you know as you can see there's probably still some coolant sitting in there yeah so all that you know coolant will, will dump out so basically and then there's a little electric connector i'll show you guys Just this right here um, you see that little connector right there this right here so you're gonna have to unplug this this is basically um, connected on the um, actual uh, thermostat so you're gonna just, just a little simple pull tab just pull it out what I did is I pulled it out and I just taped it because I didn't want any liquid or anything to get in there but as you can see this part this is a connector and I just put some electric tapes on on here on these connectors just to just so I don't you know mess anything up so once you get all these three hoses off uh, there are a couple of bolts that this was actually held down by which is the uh, the T30 so 
I got the ratchet here. Those bolts are pretty uh, simply added on here. So I just twisted the bolts off and uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and as you can see now, this is, you know, wiggling. So I can basically take this part out and put the new part in and then reverse uh, engineer everything back to its original condition. Um, you probably want to go ahead and purchase the BMW OEM coolant for this, which is this right here. You have to mix this with uh, distilled water. Do not use tap water. You're going to F up your car. Um, you probably see the distilled water gallon there far away. Yeah. So uh, you have to mix the is so you have to mix the distilled water with the with the coolant 50 50 percent each and uh, um, you're gonna have to basically go ahead and uh, refill all this after you connect all these hoses and then make sure you don't have any bubbles left so you're gonna have to probably uh, undo this um, um, overfill valve here and then keep filling coolant until you see it leaking out of here and then probably want to go ahead and fill this up all the way to the top um, and then drain it from here uh, to get to the maximum level which is like about here okay so that's pretty much it I'll probably make another video once I have everything together um, but uh, yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much uh, it if you can do this by yourself you can save about six hundred dollars or you can go to the dealer so uh, I'll make another video uh, once I'm done with this thank you